Welcome back to another exciting episode of Talking About Elements. I'm your host, and today, we're diving into the world of Ytterbium, one of the lesser-known elements on the periodic table. But don't let its obscurity fool you, Ytterbium has a fascinating history, unique properties, and a wide range of applications that might just surprise you. Let's start with a little history lesson, shall we? Ytterbium derives its name from the village of Ytterby in Sweden, which seems to have had a knack for contributing to the periodic table. Elements like yttrium, erbium, and terbium also trace their origins back to this quaint village. Ytterbium was discovered in 1878 by the Swiss chemist Jean-Charles Galassard de Marignac. He isolated this element while studying a rare mineral called gadolinite. Interestingly, ytterbium is one of the last naturally occurring elements to be discovered, and it took several decades after the periodic table's inception. Now, let's talk about ytterbium's properties. Ytterbium is a silvery white, soft, and malleable metal that belongs to the lanthanide series. It's often considered one of the rare earth elements, despite being relatively abundant in the earth's crust. One of its most remarkable properties is its incredible density, ranking among the heaviest of all stable elements. But what sets ytterbium apart from the crowd is its unique electronic structure. It has an unusually large number of valence electrons, which gives it a range of fascinating optical and electronic properties. For instance, ytterbium is known for its ability to absorb and emit light at multiple wavelengths, making it crucial in a variety of applications. Speaking of applications, let's delve into some of the many ways ytterbium is used in our modern world. First and foremost, ytterbium has found its niche in the field of lasers. Ytterbium doped lasers are prized for their high efficiency and ability to produce powerful, ultra-short pulses of light. These lasers have a wide range of applications, from cutting and welding materials to medical and scientific research. In the world of telecommunications, ytterbium helps keep us connected. It plays a vital role in the production of optical amplifiers that boost the performance of fiber-optic communication networks. Thanks to ytterbium, we can transmit data over long distances with minimal signal loss. Ytterbium isn't just about lasers and telecommunications, it also has applications in the medical field. Ytterbium isotopes are used in nuclear medicine for a variety of purposes, including cancer treatment and diagnostic imaging. The radioactive isotope ytterbium-169, for example, is employed in brachytherapy, a technique where radioactive sources are placed directly into or near tumors to treat cancer. Additionally, ytterbium is used in some specialized alloys, such as those used in the aerospace industry. These alloys are known for their high temperature resistance and strength, making them ideal for aircraft engine components and spacecraft. Ytterbium also has a role to play in the world of science and research. Scientists use ytterbium atoms to create highly accurate atomic clocks. These clocks are used in GPS systems, telecommunications, and even in fundamental scientific experiments. They are so precise that they can measure time with incredible accuracy, losing only one second in millions of years. Beyond that, ytterbium compounds are used in various phosphors for color television tubes and LED lighting. They emit a range of colors when excited by electrons, contributing to the vibrant displays we see on our screens. Now, let's switch gears and discuss the occurrence and production of ytterbium. Ytterbium is relatively abundant in the Earth's crust, with an estimated abundance of about three parts per million. However, it's not typically found in concentrated ores like some other elements. Instead, it's often present in small quantities within minerals containing other rare earth elements. The primary sources of ytterbium are minerals like xenotime, euxinite, and gadolinite. To obtain ytterbium metal, these minerals are processed through a series of complex separation and purification techniques. The process involves multiple steps of chemical extraction and refining, making it quite labor-intensive. 
Before we wrap up our exploration of ytterbium, let's take a moment to appreciate the significance of this element. While it might not be as well known as gold or silver, ytterbium's contributions to science, technology, and medicine are undeniable. From lasers to atomic clocks to cancer treatments, ytterbium touches our lives in more ways than we might realize. So, the next time you pick up your smartphone, send an email, or undergo a medical procedure, remember that ytterbium, an unassuming element with a fascinating history, plays a crucial role in making it all possible. That's a wrap for today's episode of Talking About Elements. I hope you've enjoyed our deep dive into the world of ytterbium. If you found this episode informative and engaging, please be sure to subscribe, leave a review, and share it with your friends. As always, stay curious and keep exploring the incredible world of science and the elements that shape it. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Until then, take care.